Well, hey there, everybody. You're traveling with Jack and my heavenly wife, Pam, and we're also cooking. I've tried to do this video three times tonight. I have this new fancy remote, and it keeps turning the video off. So we're going to go back and show you what we're doing, but the actual step-by-step -step showing you, well, I've already done it. So I'm just going to, this is kind of a review video. I've had a lot of people ask me about Jack, I want to have good, healthy meals. I love when you show fish in your pictures and things, but I'm intimidated by cooking fish. Well, I'm going to tell you, there's nothing easier. And what we're working with today is a beautiful piece of wild-caught rockfish. This fish is readily available in many of the markets up and down, primarily the West Coast. But you may look in your own market and find it, but you can also do the same recipe with cod or any other white fish. Now, the first thing I did in preparing this, yeah, I'm opening up the cabinet here, is I put a little olive oil on my pan and I placed the fish on. And I did that so the fish doesn't stick, right? Well, next, we're going to season up our fish. A lot of people want to do some salt and pepper or maybe some lemon pepper, things like that. And I've actually got this one special salt. It's called Beautiful Briny Sea Salt. Got this in a specialty shop in the Los Angeles area, a couple of years ago with Pam. I've used it up. I've ordered it again online. But you know what I found that I like best on my rockfish, at least, or even cod, is this. Old Bay seasoning. Everybody's heard of Old Bay. Most people say, though, well, I thought Old Bay was just for shrimp and crab boils and things like that. That's true. It's good on that. But I found out it is delicious on a beautiful piece of white fish like we're cooking tonight. So I put a generous amount of the Old Bay over the top of my fish. And you can see it's got a beautiful kind of reddish color to it. It's just wonderful. After I put that on there, I then take some butter, but just little slivers. I cut off little slivers of butter and place those across the top of the fish. Don't go get margarine, butter substitutes, get rid of all that crap. Use the real deal. This is 100% pure butter, organic butter. It's not that much more expensive. It's better for you, too. They've got studies out on that. You can read about it. So I put that on my fish. Then I take a little bit of lemon juice, and I just kind of put it over the top of the butter pallets, just to give it a little bit of a lemon buttery taste. Now, if you don't want the lemon, don't do it, okay? So then... Our fish is ready. This fish, I've already had the oven twice because we've been trying to do the video, but it's not quite done. So we put it in our piping hot oven on high broil. I've got it on the top shelf. In about seven or eight minutes, it's going to be ready. That's it. It's absolutely delicious. Now, what am I having with my fish tonight? It's one of my favorites. And you guys probably can't see it. Maybe you can. Collard greens. Collard greens, I've told you before, I'll tell you again, they're rich in antioxidants. They're just good for you. Low in calories, there's no carbs, anything like that. In fact, this is basically a carbless meal. These collard greens today, I've had them cooking all day long in the crock pot. And they're absolutely delicious. I've got a video on our channel where you can learn how to cook them. But it's real simple. I started out in the skillet with a little olive oil, some garlic, red pepper flakes, and onion, and I chopped up my collard greens, got them good and hot, cooked them down, and put them in the crock pot with some uh, chicken stock, and let them cook all day. There you can see the spoonful, and I'm going to try them. Oh, man. They are so good. <clears throat> and when something tastes really good and it's good for you, you feel good. What are the quick thing? Wine. Talk about that for just a minute. Let's look at our fish. It's almost done, believe it or not. Everybody had the great debate. White wine, red wine with fish. The general consensus is white wine. Although my mother drinks red wine with any kind of fish. Today, I've paired a Grand Estates Columbia Crest Chardonnay. It's about an $11 bottle of wine. It is good. Rich and buttery. Pairs well with my fish. But I wanted to bring this up. You're on a budget... They used to have what they call two-buck chuck. It's now officially three-buck chuck because it's $2.99 a buck. They make reds and they make whites. And this is the Charles Shaw two-buck chuck available at Trader Joe's. That's where you get this wine, Trader Joe's. I'll tell you guys, for $2.99, it's a pretty darn good Chardonnay. So I get four bottles of that. 
or what the one bottle of Columbia Crest cost me. Full disclosure, when Pam was still here with me on Earth, we would cheap out because it was two of us. Well, now it's just me, so I don't worry about the budget quite as much. But again, it's really good. Like I said, doing the Columbia Crest tonight, let's try it. Oh, that's dandy. That's going to be good. Okay. Hang on one minute with me. I'm walking across the kitchen. And I'm getting a plate. Because we are very close to being able to plate our fish. You know what I'm going to do first, though? We're going to plate some of the collard greens over here in the crock pot that you can't see. And I've drained them really good. There's a lot of liquid. These things are so delicious. I know you're saying, I, there's no way collard greens are that good. They are. If you cook them right and you let them cook, they are delicious. Okay. I think our fish, yep, we got smoke, so I'm going to turn on the fan for just a second because in this place, is it like this at your house? The smoke alarms go off at the slightest hint of smoke. Let me open a window. You're saying, well, are you burning up the fish? No, I'm not burning up the fish. But it is basically almost done. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to clear this, turn it off, and we're going to pull our fish out now, okay? Oh, wow, this looks so good. Okay, we're going to pick our fish up off our plate. And look at that. Golden fresh cod with collard greens. And a beautiful glass of wine. Should I get a fork and try it? Yes, I should. Hang on, gang. Here we go. Let's see how good our fish is. It's flaky. Oh, gosh. You just don't get any better than that. Take a look at that. You see? Hmm. Well, there you have it. Fresh broiled rockfish. You could also do cod, any other white fish you want, even tilapia, with a side of collard greens, a glass of Chardonnay. It's dinner fit for a king and queen. You guys have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Spread the word. Traveling and sometimes cooking with Jack and Pam. Have a good one now.